guys, today we're learning about something called inequalities. Inequalities have four symbols. One is the greater than. The greater than is basically like one is less than two, which if we do it with the greater than sign, that would mean one is greater than two. So if one is greater than two, that would be false. So we can also do two is le greater than one. So greater than just means a number that is greater than the other number, which needs to be a smaller number since it's greater than. There's another symbol called less than, like one is less than two. So greater than and less than symbols are like each of those symbols, but backwards. And they're also the numbers backwards because two is greater than one, one is also less than two. And see, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two. So they have the same numbers. Also, there's the greater than, the less than or equal to sign, which has a line on the less than symbol. This is called the less than or equal to symbol, or, or this is called the greater than or equal to symbol. You can also use equal as like um, the equal sign, like two is equal to two. Although you can also use two is less than or equal to two because they're they're like both so if two is less than or greater than one that means two is less than one or if we put it backwards because i tested you to see if you remember what i taught you here and here so so we can use one is less than two and if there's two same numbers like one is equal to one then we can use two numbers like we use two is equal to two and two is less than or equal to two so you might not be impressed by those two names although you learn and you don't need to be impressed since you need to learn Learning is like getting impressed. Now, let's do some problems here. You can also do some with negative numbers. I'll teach you about doing them with negative numbers. First, let's do if 50 is... I'm not going to say the symbol, and we'll see if you can understand what the symbol is. 50 is... Now, let's see if you can understand... Is this true or is it false? Pick one. If you said it's true, you're correct because this symbol means the greater than symbol. So, let's do negative numbers now. Negative numbers is between zero. Negative numbers is zero's end. So, there's no such thing as a number that starts before zero. There is. There are the negative numbers. Negative one starts before zero. So, let me show you something. If there's negative numbers, then the negative numbers are not bigger than the positive numbers, the negative numbers are bigger than bigger negative numbers. So if we use negative 8, and then if we say negative 8 is less than negative 1, then we would be correct. Since negative numbers go backwards and then they go frontwards positive, like 1, 2, 3, 4, although it's negative 100, negative all that. You can use the number line also. The number line goes all the way to infinite numbers. So, we're going to teach you about the number line in uh, a future video. Let's learn how negative numbers work. Then you can use the negative numbers on the number line too. Although, yes, negative 8 is less than negative 
one. Now why is that? Because I told you it's backwards. So let's do a problem and see if you can solve it because I just teach you about negative numbers and equalities. So let's see. Is negative 16 less than or greater than 15? Or such as negative 15 because we're doing negative numbers. So, it's negative 16 less than or greater than negative 15. Choose one. If you said less than, you're definitely correct. Because bigger, negative bigger numbers are less than negative smaller numbers. So, we can also mix up any inequality. Let's say we just do 3 is less than x, which is less than 7. So, why is there x in an inequality? That's algebra, which you will learn in a future video. x has to equal something. So, 3 is less than x. So if 3 is less than x, it can be between 3, between 3 and what else number? Well, there's 7, so the number is between 3 and 7. And what numbers are between 3 and 7? 4, 5, 6. So x can equal 4, or x can equal 5, or x can equal to 6. Because since it's 3 less than that number, so 3 less than 4, 5, 6, and 8, although we're doing again less than 7. So what can be possibly less than 7, although less than 3 also? Just use your brain of what is between those numbers. So, we can use the greater than symbol too. 5 is greater than y, which is greater than 3. So this might be impossible, because it, if the answer is 2, 5 is larger than that. Although, don't get tricked. Remember, if 5 is larger than 2, and 2 is larger than 3, then that's wrong. So your brain sometimes gets tricked the other way and the other way. So it has to be a decimal number since like um, 4.5 can also work. 4.5 is our answer. Since 4.5 is between 4, 5 is still bigger than 4.5 since 4.5 is basically the half of 4, and yeah. And that's also been larger than 3, so it's true. Now, if you learn about inequalities greatly, then you'll know how to use them. You practice with a notebook or a sheet, and practice... Everywhere else you go, practice when you don't know them too good. Although if you know them already really good, then you don't need to practice. If you don't know a little bit things, you can practice those things that you don't know. Make sure you practice and I hope you learned great.